where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Yesterday, we talked about the responsibilities we have of loving God alone, fully and completely, wholehearted commitment, making His commands part of us. We we're talking about the Shema from Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. Let me read it to you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them as you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Another responsibility that the Shema informs us of is teaching God's law diligently to the next generation, making this a priority, not only in your own family, but in the family of God. Whether you're teaching your own children or grandchildren, or being a children's Sunday school teacher, or a youth leader, or a mentor to a child who doesn't have a strong Christian influence, or taking the neighborhood children to church with you every Sunday, We all have a role to play in diligently teaching the next generation. One interesting side note is that the Shema says, You shall love the Lord your God, and these words shall be in your heart before it says to teach to your children. I have to love God before I can model it and teach it. I have to have God's word in me, in my heart, before I can teach that too. It says, you shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. That's a lot of talk on God's law. It doesn't sound like just taking your children to church or Sunday school every week, does it? In fact, it sounds like we must be teaching our children to see God in all aspects of life, not just in church. When my children were little, I started putting this into practice. And not only did we have some great conversations, but I realized that talking about the Lord and spiritual matters to other people became a lot easier and more natural to me. It was good for me, and it was good for my children. Our best conversations were always in the car. Children are full of questions, and let me tell you, I got bombarded by questions there for a while. Even now, when my children have something important to discuss, they often wait until we're in the car to do it. We also made praying together at bedtime a priority. There's so many little natural ways to follow this command. Talk about God's word constantly. Take every opportunity. Make opportunities. The last part of the Shema says, You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on your doorposts and on your gates. Orthodox Jews often wear a little black box called a phylactery on their hand or forehead with the Shema written on a piece of paper inside. They have fancy ones that they attach to the door and touch them as they go in. This could be helpful, I suppose. But if your hands and your eyes and your house are all dedicated to the Lord, when you reach out your hand to do something, you should immediately think, Will this glorify the Lord? Is this what God wants me to do? Whatever your hand does, it should be done according to His word in His power. Whatever you turn your eyes to, it should be glorifying to the Lord. We should be focused on Him, His promises, His kingdom. It's nice to display verses in every area of your house, but His word should also be on display in every area of our lives. It should come out of our mouths as we work and go about our daily actions because it's in our heart. So let me read Deuteronomy 6, 4-9 through again and think about how you can apply it to your life this week. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand. They shall be as frontlets to your eyes. 
you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com and check out our new website. You can find the address in the description below. I'm Carla Early, and thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.